hydrogen. It's the future of fuel. It's clean, renewable, made domestically, safe and efficient, two to three times more than a gas-powered vehicle. It's used throughout the world, in Europe, with 80 buses in service and 144 coming soon. And Asia, with 40,000 fuel cell vehicles on the road in time for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. It's also working in California, with 27 refueling stations, 73 more stations pledged in the future, and three public transit programs. And Ohio, where Canton Sarda program is the largest American-made fuel cell fleet in the U.S., with seven buses and five more by 2019. And the first ever hydrogen fuel-powered bus serving the Ohio State University. Fuel cell passenger cars are all ready for sale around the world, from seven different leading manufacturers. A hydrogen fuel cell works like this. Hydrogen and oxygen enter opposite sides of the fuel cell. The hydrogen molecule separates into protons, which move through the cell, and electrons, which follow an external circuit, delivering electricity to an electric motor. They reunite to produce only two byproducts, heat and clean water, pure enough to drink. We need hydrogen fuel in the Midwest, and CalStart has already developed a roadmap to get us there. With proper funding, the roadmap projects 65,000 jobs, 135,000 fuel cell vehicles, and 230 refueling stations in the Midwest over the next 15 years. That's why the Renewable Hydrogen Fuel Cell Collaborative exists, to educate and encourage the development of passenger vehicles and refueling stations. Public transit is also a priority, with the creation of the Midwest Hydrogen Center of Excellence. Hydrogen fuel brings our world closer to a sustainable future. With zero emissions, zero greenhouse gases, and a number of ways to produce it renewably. So get ready. The future of fuel is here. Learn more at MidwestHydrogen.org.